All right, I think it's recording. All right, time to check out the latest update in H3 VR. Oh, let me just turn on the lights in my room here. Sorry, I'm in the dark here. Okay, so what do we got today? We've got some cool stuff. Um, but first, let me see if the vault still works. Uh, okay, good. We still got uh, all of our stuff. My stuff, sorry. I have a lot of guns. So I didn't want to lose all the progress that I had. It usually happens with a major, major update like this because it changes so many things. And, uh, well, I think maybe it's because I haven't gotten to that uh, specific set of guns yet. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> well, yeah, what I've been trying to do is do, like, all the, uh, customize all the guns and stuff. But I'll talk about that uh, some other time. All right, so what do we got today? We've got... Um, Trying to remember what the update was. Uh, stuff inside the uh, the new target system, which we'll check out in a minute. But first, let's go with the most important things here. We got a new bipod system. All right, and you can see right here, this is the new bipod that uh, Anton added. And, uh, whoops, let's try it out. Hold on. There we go. All right, so an attachable bipod. Works just like uh, any uh, attachment. Stick that on there. Grab that. You can extend it using the uh, back pad. Sorry, hold on. That seems to be about right. Correct. Okay. Let's grab a magazine here. Try this out. Uh, let's see. You know what? Since we're uh, going to try it out, let's go and check out the new ammo panel. Oops. Anton has uh, kind of uh, re redid the ammo panel, so now it's uh, actually pretty cool looking. And, uh, hey, there's actually a button there that says uh, select held type. So now there's a little laser. You don't have to touch the screen anymore. Which uh, is really great, to be honest. So let's select held type. Then we got 5.56 by 45. Let's go AP incendiary. Let's fill this held object. All right, so got the ammo panel here. Let's turn it into platform. Turn it over. And let's use our bipod. Ooh, a lot more, a uh, lot more responsive. The old bipods used to be really slow, and now you can just like pick them up off the table like that. If you're in a in a bind, pick that on the table. That is pretty nice. A lot more, a uh, lot more freedom, a lot more movement. You move forward, back, up, down, sort of. Yeah. You know what? This is a little too short. Increase that. There we go. Now we can have a lot more movement. Actually, I think the bipod should go out further. And if you like, I like the whole like the the freedom of movement that you get now, because you could have situations like this where you're hitting it, but all you need to do is move a little bit back. Now you've got got clearance. Nice. But you have to be careful because, uh, like Anton said in the devlog, you can accidentally push the bipod off of the table, which is, oh man, that is pretty good. So that's the uh, new attachable bipod. You can only put one, uh, from what Anton has said. You can only have one bipod per weapon. I wonder what happens if you try to put one on. Nope. You can put a bipod anywhere, though, so... If, uh, if you have one bipod, you can put it on the side. You can put it on the top if you want. You know? That'll work too. Oops. You're holding the gun in a weird way, but... Uh... <laughs> oh, one of the legs kind of splayed out there. Oh. There we go. <laughs> it's a helicopter. <laughs> no. All right. But yeah, so that's the attachable bipod, which is pretty cool. Now I'm going to have to go through every uh, gun in the vault here that I have. 
and attach bipods to things, which, uh, you know, let's, let's try something out. Let's go with the SCX, my monstrosity. It's got a load. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Look at that. Just look at that. Look at that monstrosity. Let's stick a bipod on there. <laughs> well, I don't have enough room. Maybe I might, I might need to take off this, uh, it's grenade long. You know what? Let's try something else. I have a rifle that I think could work. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Where was it? Was it the 416? I think it was the 416. Oh, no. I have two of them. Hold on. Oh, no. That's not it. That That's something else. I ignore that. Oh, I think it was this one. Right? All right. So I'm going to remove this grenade launcher. I don't think there's anything in there. Huh? Okay. All right, so I tried to make, like, a SR-20, you know. Oh, God, what was it called? <laughs> I can't remember what it was called, but, uh... Yeah, see, you can you can tell I, I elongated the, uh... The, uh, little, uh... You know, thing there. And then, uh... Okay, let's put up bipod that's a little longer here we go all right Look how this looks oh yeah that's pretty nice a little bit of jittering going on But that's pretty cool. So now you can, uh... Oh, oh no. Uh-oh. I think I know why it's jittering. Something wrong with this gun. This gun, uh... <laughs> this monstrosity of a weapon... Is, uh, lagging my game out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start over, aren't I? Well... Just get rid of that. See any uh, bad stuff happening with this gun? Everything's moving really good. Okay. Well, uh, I might have to start over with some of my custom weapons. It's uh, some of them are a little unwieldy. I want to try this one. Doesn't seem to be too bad. Oh no! Wait, there might be a little bit of jitter. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start over with these. Custom weapons. Uh, anyways, I'll do that uh, hmm, out of the game. I'll have to back up these because I always back up my uh, my saved monstrosities. What do I have here? And tactical. Oh, this one doesn't seem too bad. I think I can get rid of, of this. And I'll stick a bipod on this. Yeah, okay. Seems to be okay. There's a little bit of a stuttering there. Hmm. Seems okay. Let me just move around a bit. Okay, yeah. Alright, well that's the uh, new attachable bipods. And a little, some of the mechanics there. Let me just get rid of this. Uh, ammo spawner, like I said earlier, it's, uh, uses the laser. Pretty cool. What else was there that we could talk about? Uh, this one does not have a bipod. But yeah, you, you saw how that was, right? Uh, with the new bipod system. There's new filtering, there's new, uh, there's new movement you can rotate. But don't rotate too far, because, you know, you won't be, uh, you won't really be using a bipod anymore. <laughs> But it sticks to the surface until you get to a certain point, and then it's free. But that's, you know, that's pretty cool. New bipod system. I can't really test it out here because this is not that long range. But uh, what else was there uh, in the... In the... In the devlog? Oh, yeah, that's right. Hold on. Let me spawn a, a appropriate weapon here. Did I get the... Uh, hmm... 
Left hook? No. What was this one? I'm trying to remember. Oh, no, not this one. Let's not use that one. <laughs> Don't look at that. That's embarrassing. Uh, nah. What else do I have? I have like four different M4s here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this one. Uh, what is this? Did I? Oh my goodness. Oh, I think I know what this was. I was trying to make like a SOP mod kind of weird thing, right? But I couldn't figure it out. So I just gave up on it. <laughs> oh, I think this is the one. Sort of. Yeah, whatever. Um, sure, we'll stick with this one. Okay, so the next uh, little uh, little cool change that Anton added to the game comes in the form of... Let me grab a foregrip here. Of bracing. So basically, you can now brace your weapons against uh, corners. As you can see, it's a lot more stable. Instead of not, instead of not doing it. Well, I'm not really doing it right now, but uh, it's 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 a very subtle subtle effect that I'm sure you modern warfare players out there probably would love this feature. Uh, I never personally had to use it, but. Uh, I mean, you know, another technique in the arsenal is it's pretty good. I like how I co-witnessed the iron sights with the red dot. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, another technique. Uh, it, it's it's pretty cool, you know, to, to have in your toolbox of uh, combat in this uh, H3VR. So, basically, you just go up to the wall, and I think there's a certain threshold where your gun will snap. Yep, there it is. It snapped into the wall. I can't push it any further. I try to pull it off, it'll still pull off. But now I'm braced. And, oh. I don't want to do it too high. And I wonder if you can do that with, uh... Oh, you can. You can do that with, uh, half-height walls. Oh, basically the gun is now braced. It's it feels it feels different. You I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's it's attached to the wall. And you know, it's like it's like it's stuck. And all you have to do is just uh when you when you have it in the um when you grab the foregrip, all you have to do is press the trigger and it'll automatically snap. Right? So now it's snapped in there. Pretty cool. Oh, hang on. I don't. Maybe uh, maybe it's my game. Hold on. I might need to turn down some settings. But uh, so it's like it's like an impromptu bipod. I don't have anything in here. Oh. Okay. Before I do anything though. <laughs> really need to pick a new career. Little bayonet thrust. <sighs> oh, I missed. Let me get a little closer. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, so the the bracing system is pretty good if you if you're really tactical, you want to slice the pie, right, so to speak. Put the gun up to the wall. It's, uh, it should be braced. And. Oops. It's really hard to do if you're um, using locomotion, but if you got, uh, whatchamacallit, if you've got uh, room scale, then you can just step. Wow, nice one. Oops. Okay. Still a little, uh, whatchamacallit, it's a little, little wonky, but again, Anton can fix that. And I wonder, can you brace floating objects like this? Let's try it out. I don't think so. Not the ammo, not the ammo panel. Let's try a 
Oh, nope. Miscellaneous utility lockable platform. I think it's already locked. Okay. Let's try it. No, I don't think you can do it on lockable platforms, which is kind of a shame, but, you know, that's okay. Nope, I can still freely move this. It should lock into place. Like, let's say you got one of these places, for example. Oh, no, I can't do that there. Let me try a wall here. Yeah, see, now it's, it's locked into place. So I'm moving my other hand. Right? You can only do it on speci uh, specific walls. Oh, darn it. But not uh, floating platforms or options panels like that. I wonder if I can... Yeah, I can do it on this wall. See, now it's locked into place. I'm moving my other hand. I'm going to pull off the wall. I can't push it any further. I can, sort of. I think it's... It's a little, uh, whoops, what was that? It's a little, um, unfinished, but uh, again, Anton will just, uh, tweak it and, and refine it in further updates, but it's still a pretty cool thing, you know, to have, again, more tools in your, your, uh, tactical arsenal, more, more maneuvers, more, uh, more, whatchamacallit, more ways to uh, have fun in the game. That's pretty cool. Okay, let me get rid of this. So we talk about the new bipods, uh, bracing. What else was added? Oh yeah, the targets. Okay, hold on. Let's uh, go to the main menu here. Wow, and I also fully charged my controllers. So that's pretty good. Not to worry about them shutting off. Let's go to the indoor range. Check out some of the new targets Anton and Cinecat has put up. Okay. Uh, oh, look. The new uh, ammo spawner. This will make customizing guns so easy. Instead of having to scroll through, like, uh, the whole list of, of ammo and then, like, trying to guess which one it was. Now you can just go, boop, that, search held type. Oh, see, I'm still I'm still used to the touch. I'm still used to the touch. I gotta get used to the laser now. I gotta get used to the laser. But uh, select held type, 50 action express. Put a tracer on this thing. Still held object. This should be. Oh, oh wait, did I not talk about the uh, new quick bolting? Hold on. Completely forgot about that. Let's uh let's. Let's pull out a bolt action here. Let's go with the... Ooh. Let's try the SV-98. This one also has a new integrated bipod. So, uh, let's go with a scope for right now. Alright, I gotta figure out this new quick bolting system because Anton added it. Let me just, uh... Ooh. Too many stuff floating in the air here. Hold on. Let me just move this out of the way. Let's go, uh... 30 meters. Okay, so, the originally, how you quick bolt, how you quick bolted in uh, H3 VR was you would press right on the uh, trackpad and then pull your, uh... pull your hand back. Hold on that there. Uh, simulation? No. Okay. Let's drop that somewhere. Okay. So how you would quick bolt was originally you press right on the trackpad, pull your hand back. You would, you would, you would push it in. You would click it, right? Which uh, well, I think maybe the system is a little broken now, but...
but it was it was pretty easy. I, I did a video on that uh, a while ago. So now the new quick bolting technique is to just touch. You touch right on the, the, the trackpad. You move up counterclockwise to open the bolt up. And then you move back right to... All right, um, how should I do this? All right, you start at 3 o'clock, right? 3 o'clock, touch. You move up 12 o'clock, move back 3 o'clock. You don't have to move your hand anymore. You just, boom, swipe up, swipe right. Swipe up, swipe right. Basically, you start here, swipe up, and then swipe back right. So it's like 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock. But you have to have two hands on the gun, or it has to be um, with a bipod. Which, oh, that's actually a lot more intuitive. Wow, okay. I could, I could definitely see myself using that a lot more than the quick bolting, which was... Oh, you can't, oh, you can't do that with a bipod, huh? But I think maybe, yeah, some, some systems are kind of messing up the quick bolting right now, but it usually, it, it usually was a bit easier to quick bolt. But now you can just swipe. See how fast I'm doing that? Wow, that is really good. I kind of like this. I thought I was going to hate it. I honestly thought I was going to hate this new quick bolting system. But just look at the efficiency of that. 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock. That's all you got to do. Just swipe the... Uh, well, I have a touchpad. Uh, I'd imagine that for people with joysticks, it would be the same kind of thing. Whoops. Did I? <laughs> iPod's on. But yeah, I'd imagine people with joysticks, it could be more effective with a joystick. I don't know. I'm using a trackpad, so it's... The trackpad on the Vive ones are actually, well, in my my personal personal use of them, they're they're pretty good. I don't know how it is for other um, <clears throat> other controllers out there in the market, but I mean, look at the speed of this thing. I want to try this out. The only hesitation I have during that time was uh, pulling the trigger, but that is impressively fast. That is really good. <laughs> oh man, that is, that's a game changer right there. Holy crap. I thought I would hate it because I actually like the quick bolting because all you would have to do is just press right on the, on the trackpad, move your controller back and then it would do it automatically. But since that's not working well with this new implementation, maybe Anton needs to, um, whatchamacallit, uh, turn into an option where you could choose either if you want to still stick with quick bolting or this new trackpad, which i definitely thinking I'm going to stick in with. Let me just remove this. Oh, that is so cool. So you can actually... All right, let me, let me explain this process for you. So you're in the beginning, in the middle of quick bolting, right? You're on 3 o'clock to 12 o'clock, but suddenly you have to take your hand off the, uh, the gun, right? You got to run. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I'm getting shot. So you're back. Uh, you know, you're in cover or whatever. So now what do you do? You, your bolt is, you know, your bolt is out there. You, usually you could just do this, but you could also just put your hand back on the grip. And then from 12 o'clock, swipe down to 3, and you're back. That is really good. Wow, I really like this system, man. Oh, I need to get this, uh, <laughs> let's get this lockable platform here. There we go. Oh, and this, and you can, uh, you can actually do the, uh, the touchpad quick bolting or the swipe, swipe, uh, I'll call it swipe quick bolting with a bipod. So you can be one handed. You don't have to use your other hand to grab this thing. That's just me just messing around with that. But it's really, it's really intuitive. I really like this change. 
Well, I don't know. Maybe uh, since I'm left-handed, it's a lot easier. Maybe for righties, it might be a little harder because now they have to... Yeah, see, they got to do 3 o'clock, right? But they're holding the gun in the right hand. 3 o'clock. Oh, wait, hold on. <sighs> Let me just... All right. So 3 o'clock... It's a lot it's a lot harder but maybe that's just because I'm not used to it. I'm a left-handed player and that is pretty cool. 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Just got to get used to that, you know. Let me uh All right, let me move this uh this All right. So, I don't think I'm loaded. I gotta, I gotta stop that. That's that's a habit of mine. Whenever I'm using bolt actions, like when I when I when I chamber around into the uh, into the gun, I always look to make sure I'm doing it right. But let's uh, let's shoot off some things here. Let me uh, let me steady myself here. Do an old sniping technique. Bullseye. I think no, nope, it was a little low. It's a little hard to do the standing. Okay. Wait, where's the target? <laughs> I'm missing the target somewhere. Nope, it's not there. Oh wait, I'm completely off here. Hold on. Wait, oh, there it is. I see it. Oh, it's, it's kind of hard to do it in here because the target is so close. Hold on. I can change the magnification. I forgot about that. Eight times. Should be better. <sighs> I gotta, gotta learn how to snipe, you know? Also, I got to keep both eyes open because keeping one of them closed just tires my face out so fast. Oh, wow, this quick bolting is so good now. Oh man! All right. Wow, that was a that was a pretty good uh, revelation right there. Oh well, you know what? Let's do like a mad minute here. Oh, I, you know what? This. Let's try the uh, infield. Uh, this one. Do a little mad minute, what they call a mad minute, right? Oh. All right, let's uh, move the uh, target a little closer here. About 10 meters, because we're not going for accuracy or anything like that. Oh, you know what? Let's try out some of these new targets. Let's uh, switch over to the Ipsic. Human, human shape. 10 meters. All right. Oh, you know what? Turn off the controller, Geo. Hold on, I am drifting all over the place. My my person, my physical body is just drifting, and I'm hitting my walls every time. I, right there, the walls like right there. Come on, no, no, this way, this way. Okay, there we go. Wait, hold on. I just want to make sure the walls are not. Where am I standing? Oh, Sorry about that. <laughs> it's really tough in virtual reality. All right, so. Am I standing too close? Oh, goodness. All right. Let's do a mad minute. Make sure it is not, uh, goodness. I think I might have messed up already. Okay. Let's just remove that magazine and do this. Okay.
Can't see my sights, though. Not as fast as some people could do it, but uh, I'm still getting used to the uh, the new quick bolting. But <laughs> you know, it's a lot faster than when I would have to. Oops. I don't know why that did that? Yeah. See, my problem is is like the rhythm, the rhythm of the uh, of the uh, bolt uh, of the. Oh God, what's what's the word I'm trying to think of? Just the, the rhythm of things, like. I can do this, but then I sometimes forget to pull the trigger. You got to get a rhythm, you know, but uh, yeah, we'll just leave that there for right now. All right, so yeah, we were supposed to talk about the... Ooh, did I spawn another... Make a little house. A little house for our guns. <laughs> a little house for our guns. Here, you can you can live there now. There you go. Take your children with you, you know? There you go. All right, uh, I actually need this, so. Okay, we're back to the uh, VP9, huh? I guess Anton removed the, uh, the uh, SIG... 226. I don't know what happened to that Desert Eagle. It's gone. Okay, so let's try out some of these uh, new IPSEC targets. Oh, the Desert Eagle's right here. Oh, I'm just going to stick that there then. Wait a minute. Where did I put that magazine? Come back here. You stay there. Okay. <clears throat> let's try out this IPSEC. Uh, again, we've got the... Uh, here, five meters. we got the human, human style target. Or, uh, person. Put it on strong. Oh, no, no. Let's put it on weak. I want to cut this thing in half. Uh, empty hands. Empty hands. Let's do empty hands. Let's put the gun here. Oh, you know what? You know what I should do? We got we to gotta do the whole loading thing as well. Lock the uh, slide open on that. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. In you set. Hands up. Oh, wait. Did I do not uh, shot clock? Okay. <laughs> I'm just sitting there with my hands up like an idiot. All right. Shot clock sets. Begin new set. Okay. Okay. Let's go back. Reset. Let's check out. We got uh, several. Oh, well, most of the hits are on the Alpha. Yeah, I think one on the Charlie. But, uh, yeah. All right. What I kind of wish, though, was uh, that the target would be adjustable. I'm I'm a pretty tall person. Really? Well, I don't. No, I'm not as tall as like. All right, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty much like six foot, but yeah, I'm 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 six foot, but this thing is like a little too uh, high. I wish it was kind of like a little lower. Maybe the head should be around here, and then the body should be. Oh well, then this table will be in the way, huh? I well, you know, maybe the head should be right about here, or my head should be right. I don't know. I'm just thinking of things. I mean, it's an it's an okay target. But I just, maybe the height, it's a great target. Yeah, just the height could be a little lower. But uh, yeah, Anton will probably fix that later on. Let's go to, uh, was it 10 meters? Let's go 15 meters. Okay, 15 meters. This is going to be really tough. I'm probably going to hit a lot of the, uh, the uh, well, I'm probably going to miss, so... Empty hands, hands up. Ooh, 
Ooh, yeah, you can tell. I was a little, I was drifting over to the right there. I kind of favor my right, but uh, check out the uh, results here. Some on the Alpha, a lot on the Charlies, and we've got some on the Delta. Okay, well, not too bad. But that's pretty cool. You got a human, oh, it's human. You got a person shaped target, whatever it's called. Then you've got the, uh, like Anton said, this is the rifle target, which uh, we need a rifle. Let's bring out, uh, bring out one of my, uh, my monstrosities here. Let's get a rifle. Let's get a, uh, nope. When did I customize this? That was a long time ago, huh? Oh, that was, yeah, 2019. Okay. I probably my backup. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what? We'll go with the standard uh, Mark 18. This magazine is should be full. Okay. Actually. Oh. Wait, hold on. I completely forgot how you lock this open. Oh, there we go. It's, uh, yeah, you go from 6 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Okay, let me, uh, oops. Stick that in the, uh, oh, I thought you could. Guess you can't. Well, no. well, I mean, this is a full magazine. I always put one extra into the, uh, gun, but <laughs> I'm just wasting everybody's time now. All right. We're going to 15 meters, and we are going to do a strong target this time. Standard count. Okay. It's locked and loaded, and ready to go. Oop, I need to pull out the stock here. All right, so let's just uh, give a. Let's just do a little shooting. Okay. Set the target. Come back. Ooh, lots of hits on the Alpha. A couple hits on Charlie. Not bad. Okay, cool. Let's go with the weak this time. Let's go 20, 20 meters. I'll do muzzle down. Oh, didn't work. Oh, this ammo panel house is in the way. Where's the thing? Oh, there's a button. Get rid of that. There. I don't know why there are two ammo panels. Where, did I spawn one? <laughs> okay, well. All right, muzzle down. Or, I wonder, can we do a muzzle up? Right? That would be a good thing. Huh. All right. Does that work? No, it has to be muzzle down. Okay. Ooh, it looks like, uh, no, oh, I didn't miss one. I missed one, really? Oh, I had a Delta. Okay. Shot number five just went whoop right there. <laughs> so this is five. Uh, alphas are five. Charlies are three. And Deltas are one. I want to actually read that. Warning, target is not tasty. Do not leave in the presence of angry geese. All right, cool. Good to know. All right, let's go 25 meters. I'm 
and then we'll just do a standard count because uh back oh you know what I should have done I completely forgot to reset the target which I think should be a, a change that uh, that uh, happens when you do a new set it should reset the target but you know whatever <laughs> it's okay all right so that's the rifle target and let's try the small plate which uh it's a small plate. Go five meters this time. Go with a desert eagle here. Okay. Oh. Oh, right. Yeah, you're just gonna do that, huh? You know what? Can't I can't do it like that. There we go. Okay, I got desert eagle. This uh just do a standard count. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put the strong target. Standard count. Huh. Pretty good. Five meters, no problem. Set. Go oh, ten meters. Take a look. Ooh, a lot of shots right there. Not two of them. Not not too bad. Reset. Let's go to 15 meters. Uh, muzzle down this time. We're gonna. Oh no, empty hands. We're gonna we're gonna do this like legit. Ooh, that didn't look too good. Oh, not bad, actually. Got a lot of fives, two threes. Let me reset this. Oh, wait. I don't know what that is. Whoa, whoa, what is that? Hmm. That's strange. Hold on. Let me just try something out here. That's a zero. That's a three. That's a five. That's a five. Hmm. Hmm. That's a one. Hmm, that that's a little suspect. That's, that's weird. That's zero. That's a one. Go in the delta. That's a three. Charlie's a three. Five. That's a three. That's a three. Yeah, I saw, like, what, what tipped me off was, like, I shot over here and I got a three which is kind of weird but uh, that's a bug that should be fixed uh, maybe a hot fix is coming I actually want to test out these other uh, targets now with something with a little more uh, a little more cartridge here Ooh, adjust this cable okay uh, all right and you set on the Delta that's a one that's a three. That's a five. This is zero. Zeros all over.
That is a five. I hit the alpha. That's a three. All right. All right. So this this target's pretty good. Let's try another target here. Uh, begin new set. Let's try the alpha. That's a five. That's a five. All right. Bravo. That's a three. Charlies are also threes. Deltas are one. Zero. Zero. Multiple zeros. Hmm. Okay. So it seems like the uh, plate target is a little off. When you think about it. Five. That's a three. Those are definitely not... That's a three. Wait a minute, hold on. Huh. That's a five, right? That's five. That's a three. Still a three. Yeah, the delta should be, I think, lower than a three. But I don't know. Maybe those are all fives. <laughs> so this is three. Okay, hold on. That's three, but over here on the Charlie, five. All right, yeah. That needs to be fixed. Yeah, that needs to be definitely fixed. The fact that you can shoot outside of the target and get one point. <laughs> All right, that's cool though. You know, I mean, uh, I I understand why the like why it's sort of messed up because these targets are so complicated. They have to man the the you know Anton and uh, and Cinecat, the one who came up with this uh, this this beautiful target system. They have to manually author all the hit zones, and probably you know this one was probably something else, but. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened. They they use the uh <clears throat> But yes, I mean you have to manually all these zones right here. Nine, eight, seven. That's nine points. That's ten points. So you know you got this tiny little thing and you get these dots over here. That's ten points. That's seven. Yeah, okay. That's zero. <laughs> What if you shoot the, uh, no. <laughs> I mean, I've got to call a little Easter egg. If you shoot the middle of this, uh, target in the, in the logo, it'll give you like points. But yeah, so each of these targets is, uh, manually, uh, what's call it, authored. So, you know, I mean, there's a, you know, the, 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 uh, IPSEC, um, oh, I forgot what it's called now. <laughs> I'm having a brain fart moment. The, uh, this target right here. Just probably slipped through the cracks, so they'll fix that. Don't worry about that. Go with weak here. I think that is all the changes for today, right? Just the new bipods, which, uh, I mean, I could do a whole video of me just customizing guns, but that would take, like, hours. I spend hours in the game customizing weapons, so... Yeah. Maybe if I just put a bipod on this thing. Oh, and uh, the bipods are now found in the grip bipod section. Get the uh, attachable bipod A. Hopefully that A stands for uh, meaning that uh, more bipods are coming. Especially this one. This could be worked out in the future. Because this originally was supposed to be a bipod. But, you know, since Anton couldn't get it to work back then, it turned into a foregrip. But now that the bipods actually work... Maybe uh, he could revisit this one. Those little legs that come out. You know? um, what am I doing with that? I don't want that. I want an actual bipod. Stick a bipod on this thing. And let's make it... About that long. There. Yeah, good. 
What are these? I should do a scope, huh? Oh, man. This. Get rid of this. Let's get a scope out here. Let's do a 1 by 24. Oh, no, that's a little too close. All right, let's reset this. Go to max distance. Oh, I do need a platform. This. Okay. That bipod. Did I not uh, get a new set here? Oops, <laughs> I kind of went over to the side there. Ooh, I got a find a good position for myself for my, for my body here Oops. okay 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 yeah it's still pretty hard all right cool cool stuff there and uh yeah i did miss a couple oh yeah i completely forgot the he expanded this so that it can show more than 15 hits but uh that's pretty cool honestly really cool update today lots of cool things i, I really do love the bipods i really do love the uh the new quick bolting that is just like a game changer right there The bracing, does the bracing work here? I don't think it works here. Oh no, it does. That's pretty cool. Okay, yep, yeah, we got bracing. If you don't have a bipod on this weapon, let's let's say you don't have a bipod on this uh, on this uh, Lee Enfield. Oh, I can't brace there, huh? I forgot. Um, maybe that'd be a good suggestion to give the Anton. Maybe you could be able to brace, uh, brace things like this. You can't, see? I'm moving my gun freely around. Now, if I, if I do this, I might be able to turn around and sit on a chair. Yeah, there we go. Sitting on a chair. Oops. Let's reset this top. Let's brace. Can I not brace this thing? Oh man. Okay. Well, <laughs> bracing there. You know what? I'm sitting down, so might as well. Yeah, there we go. Now we're braced. A little lower though. There we go. Oh, okay. That just kind of freaked out for me there. That is cool. That bracing system is so, it's so sick, you know? I can't brace this, right? Nope. Can't seem to do that. What about underneath? Oh, it works underneath. <laughs> it works underneath. Look at that. I'm kind of braced underneath. If you're upside down or something. 
All right. <laughs> I need to get up from my chair. Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh no. I'm, I'm. Hold on. Oh, there we go. But yeah, a lot of good stuff in today's update. This uh, all starts to make sense once you realize that there is a new Taken Hold map coming. Ooh, look at all these magazines. And all of these, all of these mechanics are for the long range battles you're going to have in the new Taken Hold map, which is coming. Well, no one really knows when it's coming, but uh, it looked pretty good when I checked it out. So long range battles are going to be going to be really cool. Did I? I'm just trying to think of what uh, if I missed anything else in the uh, devlog. That's worth talking about. Bipods. Bracing. Uh, new quick bolting. Uh, new targets. Ammo panel. Uh, we didn't go over through this, right? Well, you know what? Let's do let's do a little short thing. Like for example, I'm trying to customize. Uh, oh my god, what was I? I just finished carbines. I'm now on assault rifles, right? So in the old in the old ammo panel. What you would do is you would get the gun, get the magazine, but then uh, oh you know I gotta I gotta customize my um, my ammunition. So you would go and then you would look for 5.56 through different menus, and then just you know. But here it's a lot easier. It's like I'll type, we'll go AP incendiary, boom, that's it. That's all you gotta do. And then just fill this again, get that plus one. Now you got one in the chamber and you got. Got all the bullets there. And, um... Hold on. Did I not do assault rifles? I feel like I did assault rifles. No, these are assault rifles. Okay. Yeah, so I was in the middle of that. I had just finished, like, uh... All the, uh, carbines. Got all the carbines in the game. Each one... Customized to my personal liking, except for like maybe the duplicate uh, MP5s. Where, where, where is you? Where are you? There we go. You'd have a like you have a, we have one with the stock. I, what I would do is I would pick one that I like. I like the folding stock. Save that. You know, that's the MP5s. Um, but yeah, this this ammo panel is pretty cool. Tiny pistol. Shotgun. Exotic. Ooh, exotic. Nice. What fires 10.10 by 27 millimeter pulsed? Uh, wait, hold on. I think that might have been the, um, hold on just a second. Yeah. All right. I was just like, what gun fires that? 36 Moses, 50 Imaginary, this is for the Daggle, the Daggle, Daggle, where's the Daggle, where are you Daggle, where'd you go, oh there you are, the Daggle, most people don't know that the uh, Daggle has alternate uh, rounds, so I think this is just the um, normal because it's useless. Can do anything. But we can put the boomy. We have the red tips. Well, I didn't see it, but let me do that again. Explodes. When it hits. Flashy is... Is, I think yellow and that one is like a flashbang oh no maybe not might be a tracer mega mega oh what did i drop my magazine mega blue wow this thing just emits too much smoke pointy owl green armor piercing This is a lot of smoke coming up from this thing. And super special. Black tips.
Hmm, 50 millimeter potato. Oh, that's just the uh, potato for the uh, potato cannon. Dark Manor lemon. Full metal jacket. Sustenance bolt. Okay. Full meat jacket. I know. It's a hot dog, right? The sustenance. Uh, crossbow. Ordinance. Yeah, it's a hot dog, right? Stick this battery inside. Oh yeah, I forgot you could put a scope on this thing. Sure, why not? And then yeah, full meaty jacket. That's what that is. Ooh. Bill held object. Huh? Well, you had to spawn it. Ooh, nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then meat forge stuff. But yeah, I mean, this is this is so much better. This is gonna make customizing my gun so much easier. I mean, all I need to do is just like. There you go. You got you got your you got your ammunition, you know. You like uh, pick up a shotgun or something. Well, not a shotgun. Oh wait, actually, yeah, let's do a shotgun. You pick up a shotgun, like say. Wait, where did it go? Oh, here it is, the KS23, which has some ungodly round, right? All you need to do is like hell type. That's it. And with a laser selection, it, it's it's amazing. This is great. If if Anton does this to like every other like uh kind of menu in the game. You know? Cuz I, I I hear he wants to do a re a revamp of the uh the item spawner again, second time. Cuz before if if any of you have seen the older videos, the item spawner was kind of a It was okay. But this is a lot better, but I mean, it could be even more better. But yeah, so. Uh, all right. Well, I think that's about it for today. I am going to be customizing a lot of guns, which will take me hours upon hours. So, yeah. That should be, that should be about it. I got everything. Hopefully I got all the, uh, bullet points and um yeah so i'll see you guys next time